Hey chess friends, how are you? Leela Chess Zero is a powerful chess AI designed to play chess, she is a classical champion and the world's fifth top chess engine, today I'm going to show you a beautiful game between Leela Zero and Stockfish where I sacrificed my knight against her to launch an attack on her kingside, and don't ask me why I always play with white, that's a weird question, e4 c5 and we have the open variation of Sicilian, knight f6 knight c3 take take. Black have various types of way to develop in the game but Leela played e6, that move isn't so popular nowadays, 20th century players including Mikhail Tal used to play this move, this move blocks the bishop's path and prevents the knight from entering, I played f4 because if one door closes another opens, both players move out their queen, of course Leela zero is my queen but she is very strict in her determination and chess, creating g4 square for the knight. Bishop out to e2 and you may wonder why the queen didn't capture the knight since two moves, well queen takes knight will tarp the queen in center and Leela in my heart, so in this position we have bishop e7 bishop, d2 and c5 to blow up the center, knight has to move back because it's not time to sacrifice the knight, be patient, I will sacrifice the knight in the game, not like you, where you sacrifice your knight queen and later on, the king. Bishop takes e2 isn't the best move because black will face some serious problems in this d-file and the backward pawn, it's better to keep developing, and you shouldn't just exchange the bishop, why? The knight can get into there, you may think of playing h3 to kick out the knight but you forgot about queen f2 check, slides take here knight check and that's it, you will down a material and your financial condition will be very bad, so I played castle, bishop runs bishop e3, moving back the queen on c7 is little passive, you may think of some source of kingside attacks, but after f5 take take. You still have the choice to continue developing attacking pieces in the kingside but by playing b4 king b1 white is secured, white have outpost on d5, play rook c1, b6 square is weak there, game would continue like this so Leela played something ordinary in this game, you wanna take my queen, I wanna take yours, how romantic, b5 rook e1, you may wondering why I put my rook on e1, not on g1 to push the gh pawns, the answer is, black is not committed where he is going to castle. It's crucial to place your rook on a file that is expected to be open, she played short castle and now you have fully rights to push the pawn, g5 move is very very critical, let me explain you the strategy, if bishop takes b5 happen, play g4 to attack it, something like bishop check knight runs, you can knock out the door with bishop h5, rook here rook g2, just look at how strong the g5 move was, white is going to use all of their material to burst the king side, king runs knight d5. I am showing you the variation, f5. White's plan is to explode the pawns to attack with the pieces, let's suppose black played a5 and rook b8, then play f6, takes and we're not gonna capture the pawn, we will push the pawn because after takes takes, Bishop takes knight queen h3 will lead insane checkmate, rook g8 queen h3 rook ups and bishop h6, look at the crazy bishops, they are standing like two big pillars, blocking the rook's movement, queen g8 take take bishop f5, now the queen has to run, bishop e6. Queen can't no longer able to protect the knight, rook g3, involve the another rook, f5, queen captured and rook to h3, queen h6 and know what should you play. Bishop, takes f5 rook takes queen and checkmate. This is the year to turn your weaknesses into strengths, your maybe into yes, and your hopes into reality, so back to the position, Leela captured the pawn, h3 to open up the both gh files, g3 rook g1 a5, she starts attacking my kingside also but I have no fear because she is too late, before and what should white play now? If you capture the rook, yelling rook takes g7, sacrificing the rook, well king takes g7 rook g1 king to h8, and where is the attack, you may think queen e1 to checkmate black but after takes takes, takes queen check, knight can simply block it on h7, the queen is messed up with the bishop, queen b7 and now it's your turn to defend your position, this is the breakdown moment when you feel that you no have any attacks, your king is unsafe and you down a material, so back to the position. I played rook g1 to attack to in king side, slowly but surely, and you can't protect your g pawn no matter what you play, bishop c4 take take queen g2, white is ambitious to attack in this g file, g6 doesn't work as rook takes g6 explodes the file, 
take take king slides check and mate and friends, if you are enjoying my content then please like and subscribe to my channel, I need your support, you may notice that the knight is unguarded which is why she accepted the knight sacrifice middle game gambit. I first played rook takes check, king slides queen e1 to checkmate black, bishop takes e2 protecting that square so queen h4 check doesn't work anymore, knight h5 attacks, queen has to capture the bishop, and now black can't capture the rook because of queen g5 and black will face very bad circumstances, so in this position best move for black is to go for queen exchange, takes takes, and look, black have two minor pieces for a rook which is enough to win at end game, so back to the position. I captured the bishop, queen b7 attacks this, pinning the pawn to target the knight by playing rook b8, so queen g2, threatening a rook check to checkmate black on g7 square, queen takes e4 protects it, queen g5 to check her on h6, and you may think that everything is protected, why not play a natural move, well, we can play f5, blocking the queen's diagonal, and how can you stop yourself from checkmate. So in this position we have knight h7 to attack on the queen, queen takes bishop and. Can you guess the best move for black? Any move other than the best move will lose the game, the optimal move is knight to f6. You might wonder why not another square on f6, well, the distinction lies in choosing knight h7 to f6, as it allows for the strategic move rook to e8, trapping the queen, that's the essence of positional understanding, now I have to capture the pawn, after take take black gives me a queen exchange offer to reduce the kingside attacks, queen run backs a5 knight backs, takes and you shouldn't capture the pawn as it will open up the kingside completely, so knight e3, threatening to capture the pawn, ok. You can't capture the f-pawn because bishop d4 will pin the knight, queen d6 is coming to pressure it, so if you play rook f8 then after queen e6, queen f7, takes rook here rook e1, we will add another pressure with the rook, so rook g7 knight c5, attacking to the knight along with the bishop diagonal, black's position is completely lost, so back to the position, Leela offers me a queen exchange, I said no, if you can reject me then I can too. F takes f5 is a threat and you still can't capture the f pawn yourself, queen e4 take and if you take the pawn then bishop g5 will come, attacking to the knight, so rook f8 protects it, we will capture the knight anyway because we the dangerous queen e7 move to threat the rook and threatening checkmate in one move. Focus on your purpose, what your heart tells you, and persist no matter what, so back to the position, we have rook e8, queen f7 and we did queen exchanges, and we have bishop h6. We have pieces exchanges and bishop g7 check, rook to g7 here take take and final touch king takes b2, wow, what a game thou, Leela played fantastic game with me, and at the end of the day I have two extra pawns which is enough to win the game. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.